After a successful assault on two mines, Rusthilt brings his crew back home for rest, relaxation, and to put food in the bellies of their two newest recruits. They claim to have no name, whether that be because they were born into slavery or all memories of their life beforehand was beaten out of them, Rusthilt isn't sure. But it doesn't matter. They've pledged their life and seem intent on serving whether they want them to or not. They follow them all the way back to the outpost, and instead of having them die in slave clothes and an empty stomach, Rusthilt remembers why, so long ago, he was looked to as more of a hero than anything else. Why he took down the Dust Bandits, and why he turned on the Holy Nation so quickly. We'll fill their bellies, and they'll find a place here. Their arms and determination can do plenty of work around the outpost. Rusthilt speaks these orders to Kang and smiles, and so the two nameless slaves are now free and working hard. After a second successful assault on yet another Holy Nation mine, Rustilt and his crew not only find themselves recovering from their injuries of said assault, but also in the company of two new folk, both human. Ex-slaves who have decided to throw their lot in with the Rust Bandits come hell or high water. Welcome back to Kenshi, everybody. It's true, we've got two new lower servants. I don't know if we can actually feed them, but... We have to take them. <laughs> um, this does mean that Rust Tilt is going to have to make an, uh, an exception and um, swing back with his crew from here on out. But I think he's going to leave Silvershade behind. Maybe. Uh, ooh, there's still quite a lot of people here. So let's break down everything. We should just let people heal. I think we need to let people heal up. And then after we're all healed up, we can start doing some things. Let's get Silvershade uh, in this bed. And let's send him... Let's say send the Holy Trinity, basically. Kang, Ruka, and Rustilt into the mines. And basically kill the, the, the last of the slavers. Seems that there's like one... One well-armed slaver, and the rest are... Kind of their, their own their own thing. One's trying to crawl away. One's still standing guard, surprisingly, so there might be a few. No, maybe not. Well, let's just get in here. I don't want them to get a chance to, to, to heal. Everybody in here, please. The alarm was raised, but that's all right. He's getting massively assaulted. And Ruka's coming in. I'm gonna have Ruka actually focus on... Oh, Ruka went down. <laughs> she went down so fast. All right, well, we'll clean up the rest of them. I don't know why he's even gonna try. No armor, no weapons. A solo assault on the inside. That baseball swing actually doing a number on Kang, sending him back, reeling a little bit. Down they go. Take that. Well, I think everybody's starting to make their way back here. But... Like I said, in the meantime, let's just go ahead and start taking care of all this. Rain, dismantle it. Okay, now we've got everybody. Are we, is everybody good? We got Ruka over our shoulder. A few people with still some weapons. We're gonna drop them, move everything up. Basically, I want to ensure if they do get up in their slaves, they don't they don't really have much of a, a fight or a fighting chance, because if you just leave the armor on the ground, they kind of ignore it. 
At least they seem to. I want everybody to gather outside. I don't know if we're going to have to finish them off. If these guys want to escape, they can. Let's just make sure... Everybody stays dead. He's dying, so he's just going to bleed out. Dying. It's mostly these. He's really, really doing fine, bizarrely. Where's Silvershade? Is he still hurting? He's hobbling. He'll make it. Okay, let's have him sleep in here somewhere. Eh, kill him. Now he's dying. Yeah, that's fine. Another weapon that needs to be taken. All right. Now that that's done, let's take this crew and start sending them home. The servants are going to be put to work and hopefully have some food. And uh, we'll end up buying some more food soon as well. I want Silvershade to just kind of hang out here. Little will they know that he's here. I don't care if it's not yours. Why do you think I care that it's not yours? Why do you care that it's not yours? It's a better question. All right, well, I guess we're just gonna stay here and wait and see if anybody shows up. I can't believe we had three slaves decide to join us. <laughs> uh, I don't know what we're gonna do. I'm just, I, I'm mostly, like I said, I'm mostly concerned about food. Let's actually swing back home for a moment and take a look at our food stores. I imagine we haven't really stored up much. If any at all. Wiki is actually going, going crazy and by crazy, I mean he's actually just doing his job. Mining away over here. Farming away. Cyrus, do me a favor, come over here. Pick failed. He's trying to pick a lock. Somebody's trying to pick a lock over there. Huh. Well. Wiki, why are you carrying around three gigantic things of water? You have no reason to be doing that. All right. You're just going to keep doing your own. There we go. I need you to be doing that. A lot more of throwing that in there. So you can start taking care of uh, making some food. Everybody's still moving. He's just dying of hunger, which is the, the big worry. Y'all eat too much food. That much I've decided. Way, way, way too much. You guys are all spread out. Uh, let's grab everybody but Silvershade and tell them to come here. Bandit, bandit demands are moving towards our outpost? Oh no, whatever are we going to do? How will we ever survive? Not bandits. I don't know what I would do about bandits. Well, the bandits should be a short, short work. Um, let's slow things down just so I can double check over here. He's being seen by somebody, but he's being ignored. It's a couple of caravan guards in here that are ignoring him. So we have Holy Nation. A Holy Nation caravan has actually arrived to buy slaves. That. Or they they live here and they're one of the roaming 
squads. But they've returned to complete devastation. They're trying to shop. They're desperately trying to shop. And it's just not working. Let's speed things around. I want to wait, wait for them to all to leave. Alright, we're going to leave him in the darkness for now. And let's go back to our outpost. Yep, they're, they're here. And as you can see, um... Are we not shooting at them, everybody? There we go. I was gonna say, as you can see, they're being mowed down, but clearly that's not true. Okay, there we go. Yep. Oh, good sir. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. Such disastrous things had to happen to you. It was not my intent for you to die such painful deaths. But... Your own misgivings and misguided misguidedness that ended your life. Back to Silvershade. Yep, they're still all here. Maybe they're gonna leave now? No, not even close. Silvershade is very much stuck. He's in a bad spot. We're gonna have to come back and finish this assault, I think. I genuinely don't think we're gonna be able to... ...kill this place off completely. Where the heck is everybody? Everybody's moving so slow. Here, everybody go your normal speed. Whoa. They glitched into the base. Kang and Rust Hilt got glitched into the base. Well, whatever works. For now, it means we can uh, get some rest. Stash bread. I'm gonna move Rust Tilt for a second to this squad to see if he starts healing people. Looks like he's going to. Yeah, people need to be healed up. Poor boy Wiki over here. The pack beast is being attacked? Strange. Who are we missing? Kang's already in. I think it's everybody, so fall. I just want you to turn this off, shut this off, or shut the gate. I'm getting here. Hopefully we'll have uh, enough food for everybody while we're here. We'll probably send somebody out to do a running job. But we're going to move our servants down to our working crew while they'll be staying. And what they're good at is not all that much, just genuine, genuinely, like, boring laboring. They're okay fighters. Well, they're not great, so I guess what we're gonna do is just send one here. And just put one... Here. Just make sure they're mining. Keeping themselves busy and occupied when they can. Where are they? They're over here. You guys have no food. You're starting to starve. And we are farming, trying to keep things going. Hopefully Sirius will, uh... I wish Sirius would, would grab this, but he just never does. He only cooks. Alright, while things are operating over at our outpost at the pace that they tend to, uh, we can once again explore with Silvershade. See if there's anybody here. The caravan seems to have gone. But we, you never can be too sure. Hello. Oh my god, man. I didn't realize there were so many slave cells over here. Let's get you over here if I can. 
Let's bonk him out if we can. Thank you. Drop it. Drop it. Drop. 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 Okay. He'll wake up and he'll die very quickly. Anybody up here? Seems that that's not none. Let's go ahead and just put the piece of cloth on him so we can steal it off of him later. Just to wake him up so he's not playing dead. Let's speed things up. Okay, he's getting up. Good. I mean, he's unarmed. So we'll just move this up to times two. Ooh, he got karate kicked. Well, I mean, he's a bloody mess now. Yeah. I'll take that now. All right. I guess in here, this is the only other place we haven't kind of explored. So let's get up. In. Nobody's sleeping. Start picking the locks. Hello. Pearl vase. This is a strange thing to have. I imagine it sells for good money. Just luxury goods and, and whatnot. A holy book about a man's purpose. Valuables, basically. The Guiding Light. The second in a series of Holy Nation self-help handbooks. 101 tips and tricks that skeletons don't want you to know. Did you know that skeletons hate heat? That the ingesting of human clogs their nuts? Okay. That nature's soil fries their circuitry? Don't be outsmarted by a skeleton again with these helpful tips and tricks. The Birth of the Phoenix. When the darkness befell mankind, our benefactor sent us a guide. He created the phoenix from his own essence. The phoenix is not merely a man with a common soul. The phoenix is an extension of the Lord. His soul is divinely pure. It cannot be corrupt. The phoenix must always be the one guiding the wavering flames. No other can receive our creator's instructions. Interesting. The little boy that got dismembered by skeletons. The number one best-selling children's book of today. Well, you guys have an interesting choice. Our choices, rather. In, uh... In knowledge. In children's tales. Scripture of the Radiance, Volume 4. I think we take this back. Are you still limping? No, good. Let's swap backpacks. And let's start bringing you back, because you've got a backpack full of food and we need it really badly right now. Seems some dust bandits attempt to make an assault. Unfortunately, one of their arms got torn off for even trying. Now we just await his return. We also need more power. So we're gonna be getting some uh, electrical components. I'm working on building a couple small windmills up top where the battery banks are. We actually finished up a couple of, uh, well, we finished a light. So we'll have a light at night if they get attacked that'll hopefully help our accuracy. I think it does. The return of Silver Shade, finally. People are eating food cubes. He's like, hurt. He's like tossing them up and over the wall. 
Let's go dump a little bit more of our findings. And we gotta stash up the, uh, the research bench. Let's see, any new tech that we can get? Harpoon turret spotlight? Actually, probably very, very good. Let's get cactus up and running. We've been wanting to get cactus done for a while. We need five iron plates to upgrade this, which we should do. And hopefully that's, we've got those five iron plates. 35 iron plates. Well, we should still have plenty. Materials trader, actually a materials trader is welcome. Let's let's let them in for now. Pin, I actually want you to just shut this so we don't let them in, in, in. Where is all, did everybody eat all the food already? You guys are insane. We really do. We're going to have to go get more food. Look at this research bench now, though. It's really cool looking. Well, as things slow down a little bit here out in the outpost and Silvershade knows he's going to have to go buy some more food, if anything, just to feed the new recruits that kind of volunteered themselves. I think we'll step away from our family here in return after everybody's fed and the pre preparations for the assault on the next holy nation spot on the map begin. Progress and warlike progress seem to go hand in hand. The more we succeed out in the field, the more we get to come back with to improve our outpost. The cycle and death of life are chained together almost inseparably in Kenshi.